Hello, hello, hello again. So this is going to be a final unboxing before I go to France. I am headed out for a, what is it? Eight day trip, nine day trip to France. So not too, too long, but I'm very excited. Ah! The uh, other part of our group, they're already there. They got there um, Thursday, no Friday. Yes, yeah, Friday. Uh, and so, of course, I'm not heading out until Sunday tomorrow. But anyways, I saw these earrings and I should not have bought them. I've been on Ban Island to save for my trip to France. And, I mean, the trip's already paid for. Like, I already have my airfare and you have the Airbnb where um, a couple of us are each sharing an Airbnb. We're at one location two of us and then two people are at another location uh and child I saw these earrings and I'm just like ah, oh I've been eyeballing these off and on not these exact ones but something like it I saw it and I saw the price and I'm like oh this is gonna have to come out of the pair of spending money y'all so obviously I got it from the real real and yeah that's just a normal thing you get from them just picked it up from my private mailbox. <laughs> I just find that PO boxes some places don't ship to, so I just pay it's like 20 bucks a month to have a private mailbox. No big deal. Oh my gosh, please be as beautiful as you are mine. That's the one thing. Sometimes the I'm just not good with measurements. This is supposed to be one and a half by one and a half inches. Um and it, so it looked pretty substantial, but who knows? Let's get these out of the bag. Alrighty. Oh, okay, please be beautiful. I mean, it's no big deal. That's the one thing I like about the real world. You just return that bad boy. The only thing that sucks is that they charge you to return it. They charge you to ship it too, but they charge for returns. Um, fashion file, you have the option of doing free shipping or paying for shipping. Um, but then you don't pay for returns, period, whether or not you pay for shipping in the first place. So I do like that. But okay, then let me go ahead and, oh, it's in a plastic bag. Okay, let me take it out of that. I'm not looking at y'all, I'm not looking at, y'all are seeing it before me because I'm looking away. Let me feel it first. Okay, it feels sort of substantial. I'm still looking away. <laughs> I'm like, I went to my little savings pot to buy these things I'm supposed to be waiting for. Okay, I'm supposed to be waiting to spin it in uh, Paris. But anyways, okay, these feel pretty decent. Let me see what happens. Okay, one, two, three. Ah, they look like me with it online. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look, aren't these gorgeous? Oh my gosh, aren't these gorgeous? Okay, let me look at them with my own eyes. Oh my goodness. Of course, there's slight wear on the pearl, but who freaking cares? Oh my gosh. Okay, let me see if I can get it out of the bag. They look gorgeous and they don't look repaired. Oh, these are, mm. sorry y'all, I'm using my teeth in order to get them out. Okay, let me try to get them out of the bag. Okay. <laughs> I cannot wait. I cannot try them on right now because I am, oh my gosh, I'm just running around. Um, had to get shapewear, um, my luggage. I'm so glad I got it off the shelf now. One of the little turn, the wheels broke, so I have to go buy another pair of luggage, uh, another piece of luggage. Um, I couldn't find ankle socks, you know, like, it's just a mess, so I've been running around. But look at that. Look at this. <gasps> oh my gosh. Inspection, yeah, it's on my phone, y'all. All my videos are through my phone. Oh, you look at it with my own eyes. Ooh, this looks pretty bright gold. It says it's from 26. I don't know. Gosh darn it. I have other vintage pieces. 26, I think, is early 90s, and I don't know. This gold is pretty damn shiny. Oh. I don't 
don't know. Let me try putting it on. I mean, it looks beautiful on, but... Uh, well, I always get... I was having a conversation um, with um, someone from our, you know, vintage luxury jewelry community, and we were talking about, you know, have we ever been burned as far as getting a fake piece? And I have not officially. I have returned... Um, a piece, I thought it was just one, but now that I think about it, I think it's been two, that it didn't feel real to me. I never got it authenticated to find out one way or the other, but it just didn't feel real to me. This feels real. It has this substan it's substantial, um, like, you know, vintage pieces are, but I don't know. I mean, did someone just keep it in their drawer for years? This has, I mean, literally almost nowhere at all. Like, do you see how shiny it is? Other pieces I have, there's a dullness to it. You see? It's just so very shiny. I don't know. Is that a problem? <laughs> and then it has the, the Made in France stamp. This looks, it looks so good. I, the only thing that gets me to go, hmm, is when I turn it over. And I don't know if maybe it's been revarnished or, you know, someone put, it's not as though it feels funny. It feels fine, but how could something be like 30 years old and still be this bright gold? I mean, bright gold. It is bright and shiny. But I mean, yeah, it could have been in someone's closet all this time. Um, huh. God, they're so beautiful, though. Look. They're so beautiful. Oh, they're gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Ooh, all right. I might put one pair on. Oh, y'all. I'll tell you right now. This is the day before. Oh, I'm wearing my um, Tiffany hardware the day before travel you know I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off so um <laughs> I apologize now oh my goodness gracious let me see if I can even get these to sit on my face correctly okay can I do a reverse thing can I, re oh. can I reverse this no I don't think I can so I'm just gonna pull them up oh you can't even see it gosh darn it Oops. <laughs> you can't even see it. I'm sorry, y'all. I thought I'd be able to, like, put them on my ear and have you at least see one pair. Maybe I'll, once I'm all made up, I'm all done up. Does this show? No. Oh, you can see my dirty screen. Listen, didn't nobody say I'm like, I'm not clean. I might like nice things, but clean, I am not. A neat person, I am not. And plus, this is my uh, runaround car, so... Uh, these are so, I love them. I absolutely love them. Oh, I mean, I wonder if I can zoom. Oh, you can zoom in. I don't even know how to use my own dock on phone. Look at that, y'all. Let me try to get some of the dust out of the way. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Ooh, this dusty as heck. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love it. Let's see if I can zoom in anymore. Oh yeah, I can. Sorry if I'm giving anyone motion sickness. Let's see if I can come in even closer. Do you see the um the clip is on the the larger part on the bottom, so it goes over your ear. I think it looks fabulous. Don't look at this hair, y'all. I'm about to get my hair braided in a couple hours. <laughs> Anyways, okie dokie. Let me go and put these down. So. I am going to get these authenticated because I do not have the feeling that I did that when I um, bought the other two pieces that I just felt like, ugh, these aren't real. It's just, maybe I just lucked out and these earrings came from someone's, you know, great-grandmother who 
just kept them in a box for years and they just didn't you know someone inherited to, er, inherited this jewelry recently and decided you know hey i'm gonna check this out oh i don't know that i like them so i'm gonna sell them and then lo and behold i come along and buy them so these could absolutely be authentic it's just look how shiny that is i wonder if someone like soldered a plate to it is that what this looks like i don't know i'm gonna have to find another pair and see what they look like on the back if i can find another pair online i mean i already did a search anytime i buy something from i'm rambling now i'm sorry anytime i buy something um whether it's the real real or fashion file or the luxury closet i'll do a google search of the image to see if i can find it elsewhere and just do some comparisons to see what other sites have not only to price shop but also to make sure like hey does this look like other pieces um are things off you know and that has saved me a couple of times from purchasing something that's like oh no this is not the original piece someone has reworked it in some way uh but these look beautiful and actually someone I follow online I think um what's her name my CC story I think she has um a lot of pieces from this collection if this is indeed authentic and from that collection so maybe I'll pull her I'll see but anyways I love them if they're authentic I'm keeping them if they're not they're going back <laughs> okay I'll keep y'all updated until later bye